Hello my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all safe at home. Stay at home, obey your parents. Okay. Now, I am going to take 7th Standard Mathematics, Chapter 1, Number System. Yes. What are the types of numbers already you studied in 6th Standard? That is, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers. A natural number is nothing but a number starts from 1 is known as natural numbers. It is denoted by capital N. Is 1, 2, 3, etc. This is natural number. Next, whole number. A number starts from 0 is known as whole number. It is denoted by W. W is 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Next, integer. Integer is nothing but the collection of whole numbers and negative numbers. That is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. are called integers. It is denoted by Z. See here, it is easy to understand using the number line. See, see the number line. This is 0. The right side of the 0 is positive integer. And the left side of the 0 is negative integer. See here, 0, the right side of 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And the left side of the 0 is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, etc. The negative integer, 0, positive integers, all together is known as integer. This 0 is neither positive nor negative. Now, we are going to see addition of integers. How to add the integers using number line? See, now, how to add the integer? There are two methods. One is direct method and the another one is using number line, number line method. See here, first, example 1.1, add 10 and minus 15 using number line. Now, we add the integers using number line. See here, this is the number line. See, the first integer is plus 10. What is the first integer? Plus 10. Whenever we add the integer, first we start at 0. See here, the first integer is plus 10. So, from 0, we move, the, we move to right side. Because the number positive indicates the right side and the sign minus indicates the left side. Here, this 10 is plus 10. So, from 0, we count 10 units from the right side of 0. See here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, plus 10 is here. This is plus 10. Next, what is the integer? Minus 15. Here, this sign minus means we move to left side 15 units. So, from 10, we count 15 units left side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, what is the final answer? Minus 5. So, 10 plus of minus 15 is equal to, the answer is minus 5. Then the next sum, we add minus 7 and minus 9. See here, the both integers are negative. So, we move to left side. See, first we start at 0. What is the first integer? Minus 7. So, this minus indicates the left side. The direction, left side. See here, first we start at 0. Minus 7 means we count the numbers left side of 0, 7 units. See, minus 1, this is 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is minus 7. Then, minus 9. Again, we have negative integer. So, again, we move to left side. How many units? 9 units. From minus 7, we count 9 units left side of minus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, the final answer is minus 16. That is, minus 7 plus of minus 9 is equal to minus 16.
Next example 1.2. Now we add minus 40 and plus 30. See here, here we add these two integer by direct method. First one is minus 40, second one is plus 30. See here, here the signs are difference. So we find the difference, now you just see the numbers. Now we find the difference between the two numbers. What is the difference between 40 and 30? This is 10. Next, in this, for this number, which is the highest number? 40. In front of 40 we have negative sign. So the answer is negative. So we add minus 40 and plus 30 is minus 10. See one second I explain. We add minus 40 and plus 30. Here minus 40 plus 30. See here the signs are different. If the signs are different we find the difference between the two integers. See the difference between 40 and 30 is 10. Now the in front of in front of 40. See 40 is the greater integer. In that greater integer in front of 40 is minus sign. This is the answer that is minus 10. So the answer will be minus 10. Next we add 60 and minus 50. See here plus 60. 60 is nothing but positive integer plus 60. Here minus 50. See again here we have difference. The signs are different. So we find the difference between 60 and 50 that is 10. See here 60 is the greater integer. In front of 60 we have positive sign. So the answer will be positive. So addition of 60 and minus 50 is plus 10. Next example 1.3 add minus 70 and minus 12. See here minus 70 minus 12 here the signs are same. So put the same sign in the answer we add the integers. See here here the signs are minus so put the minus in the answer. Now we add these two numbers 70 plus 12 that is 82. So addition of minus 70 and minus 12 is minus 82. Next add 103 plus 39. Here 103 is nothing but positive integer and 39 also positive integer. Here the signs are same. So we will put the same sign in the answer. If the signs are same we add the integer. If the signs are difference we subtract the integer. We find the difference between the integer and put the greater greater number sign we put in the answer. See here plus 103 plus 39 so we put plus sign in the answer. Now we add these two numbers the answer is 142. Next example 1.4 a submarine is 32 feet below the sea level then it moves up 8 feet find the depth of the submarine. See here see a submarine is 32 feet below sea level. Below means it indicates the negative sign. So it is represented by minus 32. Next it moves up 8 feet. It moves up 8 feet. It indicates plus sign. So it is represented by plus 8. The, the depth of submarine is first the initial position is minus 32 then it moves of plus 8 now here minus 32 plus 8 here the signs are different so we find the difference between these two integer what is the difference between 32 and 8 that is 24 see here 32 is the greater number in front of 32 is we have minus sign so the answer will be minus so what is that the submarine located 24 feet here minus so below the sea level 24 feet here minus 24 so below the sea level 24 feet below the sea level suppose here the answer is plus 24 it is above okay here minus 24 means it the 24 feet below the sea level
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल वन पॉइंट फाइव सीता सेव रुपीज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड शी स्पेट रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड ऑन क्रेडिट बेसिस फॉर द पर्चे ऑफ स्टेशनरी फाइंड हर ड्यू अमौंट सी हर द अमौंट सीता हेज सीता सेवड रुपी हौ मच रुपी टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव हौ मच अमौंट हि स्पेट ऑन स्टेशनरी रुपी फोर हंड्रेड ऑन क्रेडिट नाउ सी हौ मच अमौंट हौ मच ड्यू अमौंट शी हेज टू पेड सी सी पर्चे फॉर she purchased things for rupees 400 but she has only 225 rupees so what is the difference between 400 and 225 that is 175 she has to pay on credit she sita has to pay rupees 175 example 1.6 from the ground floor a man went up six floors and came down six floors in which floors is he now see here what is the starting point from the ground floor the starting point is ground floor from the ground floor she went up that is it is six floors went up so it is plus six so from the six floors again he came down six floors from the six floors again he came down six six floors see here number of floors came down down means it indicates negative integer see now landing the point so what is that the he he went up six floor that is plus six again he came down six floors that is minus six plus six minus six is zero zero is nothing but a ground floor again he is landing at the point ground floor see properties of addition of integer first one is closer property a closer property is nothing but sum of two integer is an integer for example plus 4 plus plus 3 we add these two integer again we get an integer so these two integers are closed under addition that is in general form for any two integer a comma b a plus b is also an integer here the two integers 4 plus 3 we get an integer so sum of integer is an integer so this is the closure property we add two integer again we get an integer next commutative property we add two integer in any order the answer will be equal for example 2 plus 3 what is the answer 5 now we change the order that is 3 plus 2 so the answer is 5 if we change the order the answer will be equal then the integer satisfy the commutative property here addition of integer satisfied the commutative property in general form for any two integers a comma b a plus b is equal to b plus a next associative property here we take three integers we add the integers in any order the answer will be equal see here i take 1 plus 2 plus 5 see here i group here second and third integer see the answer is first we take one as it is first we add these two integer 2 plus 5 is 7 see here 1 plus 7 is 8 here i take 1 plus 2 plus 5 here i group first two integer see here what is 1 plus 2 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 see here we group the integer in any order we will get the same answer this is the associative property of addition see here in general form for any three integers a b c a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c then additive identity here additive identity is nothing but zero we add zero with any integer the answer will be the same number for example 
4 plus 0. Answer is 4. See here, 0 is the additive identity. In general form, for any integer a, a plus 0 or 0 plus a, the answer is the same integer. Next one is additive inverse. See the number line. Every integer has opposite integer. For example, here we have plus 2, then the opposite of plus 2 is minus 2. The opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. See, 0 separates the number line into two part. One is positive side and the another one is negative side. See here, when we add two integer, the answer is 0. Then we say that the two integers are additive inverse of each other. For example, plus 4 plus of minus 4. So the answer is plus 4 minus 4 is 0. Here plus 4 is the additive inverse of minus 4 and minus 4 is the additive inverse of plus 4. See here in general form for any two integers a comma minus a is the additive inverse. Thank you students. Next class we will do the sums using these properties.